welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. <laughs> a little bit different than what I normally do. I usually tend to stick to tutorials here on my channel, but today I'm going to do a review. And it's a review on something. <laughs> It's a review on something that I've actually been, I've actually had sitting in my dresser drawer back there for, I think, over a year. I bought it because I heard some people talking about it, and then I just feel like these kinds of products are usually very gimmicky, especially with my hair. You guys can see, like, my hair is curly naturally, and so what I'm talking about is the Revlon Blow Dryer Brush all in one. <laughs> my hair is very curly and so it takes a lot to get it straight and smooth. I normally use the Dyson blow dryer and a round brush. So I'm gonna try this out today. I haven't even opened it. It's still sealed. So we're gonna try it out and see how it works. I think it would be ideal for people that have like straight hair or more wavy hair. I think it'll give great volume, but I'm worried about it, its ability to like smooth out my curls. We will see. So I just washed my hair with the Hair Covery Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh, I need to put my serum in. This is the Hair Covery Serum. It is a growth serum. It's a strengthening, what is it? Strengthening and thickening hair serum. So you apply it to your scalp. It doesn't go on your hair, it goes in your scalp. And it helps to like thicken up the new hair and strengthen your hair. Now let's open this up. Let's see, maybe I should read instructions. I'm really bad at reading instructions. I'm really, really bad at reading instructions. I usually just figure it out as I go. Towel dry hair to remove excess water. My hair's been drying for a little bit, which I normally actually don't like to do it, to let it dry anyway. Low setting on fine or thin hair and high setting on thick and coarse hair. So my hair is thick and coarse. Oh, and it says it has a cool setting to lock in, lock in the style, whatever that means. Okay, so I think you just use it like a brown brush kind of thing. It's plugged in. This is the size of it, so it's pretty large. It's also been called like the dupe, the Dyson um, Air Wrap dupe, which I also don't have. I haven't even thought about doing a review on it because, again, my hair is so curly that I feel like, I don't know, I just don't feel like it would work on my hair. But let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Something expensive. I don't know if I want to. Okay, so I'm going to section my hair like I normally section it when I blow dry it. I go from the ears down. I'm going to spray. This is some Sebastian Trillian heat spray. I'll link my link in the, the description bar below. That's weird. It gets pretty hot though. Normally when I round brush my hair, I tend to brush it under, so it like flips under, but I'm, I curl my hair anyway, so I'm not really caring about trying to do that. I feel like it did a fairly good job, oh this part's still a little bit damp, of smoothing out my curls. We'll see how the rest of the hair goes. That's what I'm most concerned about because I have a lot of hair and so volume doesn't really, I don't have a hard time getting volume, but getting smoothness so that I don't have to flat iron my hair before I curl it. That's always my concern. It does brush through my hair really easily, which I was not expecting. Since it blows out air like from both sides, I can't really hold it super close to my scalp because it starts to burn which is kind of a bummer because I usually like to get some volume right there at the root. Oh, we'll see if it's better not near my ear. I do like that it's a brush all the way around though because I can, as you can see, I'm like turning it up through my hair so I don't have to like take my brush out and reposition it. My hair is like almost too long to be able to do that. I think longer hair might get caught up in it. I'm very pleasantly surprised by this. Oh, I burned myself on my hair. Like my hair got so hot that when I went to grab it. 
So I'm obviously doing it like a more round brushed way so that I can get my curls smoothed out. But if you have like just wavy or straight hair, you could probably just like run it through like a regular brush and it would dry it really quickly. I actually always try and keep this part of my hair wet until it's time to blow dry it though. I don't like those little curls to start drying. to do more. Okay, this is a bigger chunk of hair. We'll see how it works. So I'm gonna try doing a cool shot on this. I'm gonna do it hot for a bit and then cool to see if I can get it to be like voluminous. <laughs> Someone told me that when they used it, they preferred it just like using it like a regular brush, brushing through. So I'm gonna try that on this back part and see how I like it. Mm. It's not really getting my curls smooth. I will say that the bristles are really, they're actually really good. My hair doesn't get caught in them. It flows through them really nicely, which is a good thing. So, so far, I mean, I definitely like more of like the round brushing version of, or the round brushing technique of doing it instead of just brushing through because this is br just brushing through and it's not getting as smooth as this side does. So I definitely prefer to round brush it. Ooh, I'm nervous for this section because these are my bangs that are always tricky. Okay, so, well, well, here are my final thoughts on it. I like the way, ooh, I really, I like this. I like the way that it uh, blow dried the top section of my hair, this mohawk section. If you are not used to round brushing your hair, this is a must. It makes it so easy because it's just in one compact thing, so you can use both hands. A little bit ago, I uploaded my how I blow dry my hair and I use a round brush and a blow dryer, and that takes a little bit more getting used to. So if you're not used to round brushing your hair, this would be awesome to get. I felt like the power and the heat on it was pretty good. I like this top section that it did. I feel like it actually did get my hair pretty smooth, especially this part. Like that was good. That was really good. I don't love the way like the volume is like right in here and I think that's because of the way it's shaped more rectangular and the way I was flipping it but that's okay I'm gonna go curl my hair anyway. What else? I like the price point of it. It is not expensive at all. I'll link it down below. It's very inexpensive. I don't know if I would reach for it instead of my Dyson. But also I've been round brushing my hair for years and years and years. So that's just like second nature to me. But I think it's really great. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. So I definitely think it's something that you should add to your wish list or add to your pile of beauty tools. <laughs> I'm definitely pleasantly surprised. It was kind of hard getting these pieces. Like these didn't get as straight as I like them to be. Um, but overall not too shabby. I definitely recommend it. Give it two thumbs up. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you like these review type videos and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next because I'm more than happy to review things. I buy all of the things. Sometimes they sit in my drawer for over a year. So I'm definitely glad I tried it out. I'll definitely be using it more. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the little, click the little bell thing so you get notified next time I upload and I will talk to you guys in my next video.
we're good. Wait, let me fix this. Oh, no. There we go. Oh. There we go. Is the lighting weird? I hope the lighting's not weird. Why is this hair? I can't get this hair to stay up. Um, yeah, 